Smart Union High School District launches their distance learning today. Definitely a busy and unique time for Superintendent Dr. Gl Tim Glover. Dr. Glover joins us now on the phone. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Great to have a chance to speak with you folks this morning. Dr. Glover, tell us a little bit about what the school day is going to look like now. You know, how many hours the kids are going to be on the computer. You know, what, what does it's a it's a new normal for them as well when it all comes to this. Absolutely. Well, first and foremost, we're so excited to be able to reconnect with all of our students. You know, it's been over four weeks since we've had a chance to uh, see and engage them in the learning process. And Eric, we're a high school district, so our high school students are used to rotating between teachers throughout the day. And that's how our students are going to be engaged in our process. Uh, each day of the week, uh, assignment by subject matter will be rolled out. For like uh, example, today, Monday will be English language arts uh, learning. So Today, the lessons will be rolled out for our students, and uh, we're expecting the students to spend about two hours a day working on their assignments And that. Today, English language arts. Monday uh, or Tuesday is going to be mathematics. Wednesday, science. Thursday, social science. And Friday, the electives. And we're going to work across our uh, program that way. I know you're going to be using the Chromebooks. Can you tell us a little bit about grading and expectations and how those are involved in, in the learning process. Yeah, we'll definitely be using our Chromebooks, and we feel pretty fortunate, Erica. We're on year six of one-to-one -one devices in our district where every single student has a Chromebook in that. So a lot of skills already in place around how to use Google Classroom and so forth. You know, as far as grading, we'll be using along the same lines you've heard from a number of districts about the do-no-harm process, about uh, what they had as grades before they started. Right. Having said that, we are going to be doing some grading for the first two weeks. You know, our final uh, school year doesn't end until June 4th. So we want to do some uh, observation of how the students are doing these first two weeks and see what kind of barriers both uh, the students and the staff are facing. But also, Eric, what kind of opportunities arise out of this distance learning process? So we're not making a final decision on how we're going to be grading at the end of the school year semester yet, but looking forward to seeing how the students and staff do together in this unique time. I mean, it's definitely an understatement to say that this has been a unique senior year for students, right? I mean, any, any thoughts on how these students can, you know, have some normalcy, maybe how they can celebrate proms, graduation, how they could just be a senior? Oh, absolutely. The class of 2020 will be remembered forever and uh, very unique times for them. You know, we in Grossman, we're not ready to give up on some of those senior activities yet. We really are hoping that all of the work all of us in San Diego County have been doing to try and bend that curve uh, on the health crisis is that what we are doing right now is reaching out to our seniors, kind of surveying them, saying, if in fact the health conditions don't allow us to move forward on our traditional types of activities, what alternatives would they like to see? Eric, I got to tell you, the most unique one I've heard so far is having graduations in a drive in movie theater. Oh, yeah. Flash the student picture up on the screen and in their nice, safe social distancing cars. I bet you that will get some horns honking for <laughs> Yeah, that's one way to handle it. Kind of like that idea. All right, thanks for talking with us this morning here, Superintendent. We really appreciate it. And, and a, a big hats off to the parents out there, too, right at home that are helping out. I know my wife and I have been staying busy. Absolutely. You know, our parents, our teachers, our, all of our classified and certificated staff really coming together. You know, we know we're all in this together, and that's exactly how we get through it. Everybody holding hands and doing our very best. Oh, that's been our motto here on News 8 the past couple months, that's for sure. Dr. Glover, thanks so much for your time.